going to use about four. Uh, the tail, we're going to use some, uh, some hackle fibers from one of these so just feathers. Some olive hen hackle? Yeah. You could use partridge, olive hen, a little pine squirrel. Any of those will work for hackling for one of these. You can think of people. Find one of these just grab it up here. I'll just take a pinch from about three eighths of an inch up that feather, a pinch. Okay. I'm going to take our ram's wool. I might even use a little double wax here. I don't have to, but it might make things grab a little better. What are you talking about? This is a damp supply. What was that hair you put on there? This is just some, I just stripped off a few fibers off the ram's wool. The wool on the tail. I just some few fibers of that saddle. Okay. But you could use pine squirrel, you could use some partridge. Any of those will work. A little marabou, a little rabbit. Now, are you trying to build up a little thicker body right through here? Yeah, and just to wind up okay. at the spot. Okay. Okay, we get right there. The next thing we want is we're going to have a... We're going to use one of these smaller feathers down here. And this is going to be a shell bag. Stroke that feather down a little bit. I don't want it to be real wide. And then I'm going to tie it in over here. Try to curl it around the hook. So you're using your thread torque to move the feather where you want it to be, right? thing I have to use 
is a partridge, an olive partridge feather. And it, the olive partridge feather is going to make the legs on this guy. Okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to pull these feather fibers back even on each side, like so. And we're going to tie this in back here. Cut the shape up. So, in other words, dull side up. So, the concave side will actually be down when we put it forward. Okay, so now we're there. We've got our shell back and our legs tied. Up. Might put a little. Hold that all in place. And cut these. Better use some more. Clean up my health on the deck. Oh, that's right. I get walking out here. Okay. And I'm going to do a spin loop. But you said that it was eight. Right here. Hey, Bill. Because I'm going to want to tie in. I'll take them. I'll bring them to the next one. You want to be careful not to trap your legs under. But I want a real fluffy thorax. Wind forward, right behind the eyes. Put my spinning loop tool in here. So we're going to tease some of that squirrel dove now. We don't need quite the fur haggle that we had for the head on the top of it. But we want it to be kind of fluffy. Okay. Turn this down so I'm not winding my mm -hmm. feather up in the, uh, in the fur hack. Give it a slight spin here. Get all that started. Tease out the pieces that didn't actually get caught. Don't pull them out. Just, just tease out the fluff that didn't get trapped so you don't wind up with a complete move. Because we want a little spikiness to this, to this thorax. Put our hackle plier on that guy. I'm going to wrap Starting right back there at the front of what's going to be the legs. I want to kind of wrap up. There would be some good teachers there. Oh, a fluffy thorax. Okay, in the course of three, I don't tell you where, but uh, I, I may have left a, a light bit of a I think I may have left it in the movies. Y'all be careful. There was one down by the uh, the projector. No, that's not mine. Okay. Anyway, we got kind of a fluffy thorax here. that tied off real good. Put my access, pull that wild hair in there. The next thing we want to do is pull our legs forward. And tie them off where the thread goes through there. So we got Looks like I missed on the strawberry. Where it's 
supposed to go through there. There we go. Did you want some of this? Yeah, that's just for a back. Yeah, that's just for the back and I just yeah. work the card stop. kind of stroke towards the rear. Go over that real lightly so it doesn't fold back. Get our wings case over here in the sink. Tie that off. Pull that down between the eyes just like we did on that dragonfly earlier. I have a friend and tie it off right there at the front to cover up those thread wraps. Dan Hatchin. Yeah. Yeah. I brought a little float for you. Yeah. Help me tune up my cast a little bit because I, I think I run have too big a yeah. one. And then we're just going to tie that off. And that's your dead drift sample fly. Yeah, Tie it off. She's done.